Um, the modern nature is the real artist, is true. I cannot pretend to be more important than the dish. Like, honestly, it doesn't even grow potatoes here. It's so cold that we have very little to go on. I want the guests to taste something that they never tasted before. I wish that everyone could have the possibility to visit this world of ice that we have. My name is Joel Söderberg, and I'm born and raised in northern Sweden, and I work as the head chef at Ice Hotel. I never had this dream of being a chef when I was young, so like some other chefs do. But uh, I always wanted to work with my hands, so I just fell in love with it, and I love to cook. You can work as a chef 50 years, and you can always learn something new, and it's challenging. <laughs> with my new colleague Diego, we have developed a 10-course serving at the Veranda Chef's Table based on the eight seasons of the Sami. Spring, winter, spring... Summer, summer, autumn, 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 winter, winter. I'm Diego Sequeira. I'm a sous chef in a Baranda restaurant in Ice Hotel. When I came here, I get really interested in the Sami culture. First is respect for the animal. And I understood how hard was the life for them, surviving in this hard winter. They are really brave, I think. Typical food for uh, Sami. You eat a lot of fish, of course, reindeer. And they use everything of the animal. You could eat it the whole year. The first in the serving of the eight seasons is spring-winter. This is the time of year when you ice fish. We have a brown trout with uh, synthetic uh, caviar from beets and uh, also from the fish. It's a pretty simple dish, but we work a lot. The first point was cure a little bit the fish. Yeah, we cure salt and pickle because that's how they did it before. And we are trying to replicate that. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how we prepare the brown trout for the ice fishing dish. Brown trout or a trout usually have these dots on the skin, so you know it's a trout. I'm going to take off the skin, so we're going to make caviar of it later. And then the meat edges, we're going to do croutons on the dish. So we're going to serve some crunchiness to it. This is 50-50, sugar and salt. I pour it on the, underneath in the bottom because I like to have it when you place the fish on it and then you put on top. I like also to massage it in. If we have more fishes, we stack it like this. So we have salt, fish, salt, fish. Yeah, and now we're gonna let this sit for a few hours. So I want the guests to taste something that they never tasted before. We use so much from the animals that it's really rare to find in other places. So we try to match the food with what you could get at that time of year. So we go in a circle. This A season is the circle that never ends. Year by year by year. Now we have all the ingredients and we have the fish that is already cured. So now you can see the difference. This is a fresh fish and this is already cured. You can see the difference in the color, in the structure, and also the intensity of the flavor. The first that we need to do is just paint the skin side of the fish with a little bit of olive oil, cover this part with this leek ashes and a dry capris. So we do just very gentle movements, very thin layers, and now we're ready to go to the plate. We serve this dish in ice. It's the matching when the river is really frozen. The circle is really present in all the Sami symbology. Tipi, this tent, is in the flag, and uh, represent the union, like a family together. I see a lot of connections. We have in common this point of view that we are not the most important, it's the nature is more important than us. Put a little bit of birch green vinaigrette in the bottom. We are going to put all our slices inside of the dish and we will continue with all the toppings in top. Beetroot uh, pickled caviar. This is citric caviar. Synthetic bones and skin caviar from the brown trout. Something sweet, something more acidity, and uh, something pushing the taste of the fish, that is the bones. It's a really, really small amount, but it's very intensive in, in the taste. A little bit more of vinaigrette, and also, to push the taste, a little bit of lingonberry salt. And now we can go with the uh, seaweed mayo, just a little bit. These croutons that we make with small parts of the meat that we don't use to cure, we make a sponge, and then we dry until it gets crispy, to give some crunchy touch to the dish. Okay, now the last ingredient. We need to find some green that represents the bottom of this river, that is like a forest, but should match with the season of this. So we choose this kale because it's uh, present in this part of the year, here. We just put the lid on and serve to the guests. I want everyone 
to eat the food, experience the food, to be happy. Like to feel like they have experienced something in this world of ice that we have. Don't remember us. Remember just the dish. I cannot pretend to be more important than the dish. When we respect this and we understand this, is when you became a chef. 